Hey guys, it's operations time again. Hey, I know we're kind of early here today, but uh, or at least this week. But I figured, what the heck? It's uh, yeah, it's nice and windy outside over here in Southern California. We're having a little bit of a Santa Ana winds blowing through the area. So, and it's actually a cold one. So it's uh, you know sometimes we get those Santa Ana winds and they're warm. Well, this is kind of a cool one. So I'm sipping my coffee over here and uh, got all my stuff ready to go here. Let's get this going, and we're going to pick up where we left off here. Now, I've got a couple other ideas on what we're going to do, but uh, let me set the camera down over here. we got to get everybody on board, because uh, last off, uh, where we left off, we uh, we had everybody... Oh my goodness, we had everybody over here getting lunch. Come on, Mr. Torres, and we got uh, Engineer Rick there. Maybe he's running at... Uh, uh, remote control there and we got uh, Benjamin all right we picked everybody up let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna be running down here and uh, taking care of the uh, these two lumber cars over here but uh, you know we just got to the point where we, it was lunchtime so we stopped over here and uh, had some lunch with the uh, with the girls and Carl and not Carl uh, Lance I should say there with the uh, volleyball all right, engine is fired up. Let's uh, just put the sound on. We're gonna go ahead and back up over here. And uh, we're gonna continue on where we left off, which is uh, to do this uh, little switching over here. And then I got uh, I got some other cars ready to go. And we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be bringing a few cars into the yard. We'll probably do some yard work there too. But first we gotta do a run around over here and get on the other side of these uh, these cars here. Oh boy, I need more coffee. Good time change, you know? I don't like this time shifting thing. And even though I'm, uh, well, retired, it still makes me a little wacky. Uh, let's see, okay, right there is good. I gotta grab my uh, skewer here. We'll get disconnected. We'll get our runaround done. Get on the back side of these guys. I'll put there right there. And uh, yeah, let's get going here. Holy smoke, sorry. Come on, brakes off there. There we go. Anyway, let's see. What are we watching over there, Benjamin? Benjamin's over there on the couch. He's watching uh, watching some uh, Tehachapi videos. Looks like, uh, what's his face there? I forgot his name. I can't remember. Mark, I think? No, I can't remember. Anyway, he's, uh, he's driving by some, uh, trains on the loop over there. Look at that, man. Driving right alongside him. I wonder how he does that. I mean, I know he used to work at the railroad, but, uh, you think he'd get in trouble or something. I don't know. All right, let's, uh, let's stop over here. Hopefully, uh, we're not focusing on the palm tree. All right. Everybody's just having a grand old time over there. You got so many people over there. Got that big dance floor up on the in the front of the SD 40. Let's come down here. Engineer Rick figured he might as well just stand out there and uh, run it remote control, huh? Hope everybody's having a good week so far. Now, let me see here. We're going to stop right here before we get too chatty. Uh, yeah, because we're going to come back in here, pull these guys out, pull them out. Okay. So we're actually going to switch that like that. We're going to be ahead of the game here a little bit because uh, once we pull these guys out, uh, we're, we're going to be setting them out over there. And we're not going to be playing around too much here. <laughs> Meaning I want to get this little operation done kind of quick because we got a whole bunch of other stuff I want to get done. 
Like I said, uh, we've got, uh, got a little bit of yard work to do to move some stuff around over there. And uh, I already set out the cars for the next hauler. So we're going to be running the hauler uh, out from our, uh, well, make-believe staging uh, or stand-in staging. Staging for the staging, which is uh, basically the... Uh, the main line over there by the bridge along the uh, background there you can see the cars sitting there so uh i got a bunch of cars over there that are going to get grabbed by the hauler and brought into the yard so we can't uh we can't dilly dally here with this uh this little operations watch out weirdos Always something to do over here. You know what? I still gotta paint this guy up. I haven't even. This is just stock plastic. I gotta paint him. That building right there. I think that's where he's gonna stay because I kind of like the way he, uh, the way he fits right there. All right. So now we'll come over here. We'll grab hold of these guys. Ooh, lovely! Right there. And uh, we do got to shove back, but let's see where we're going to go. We're going to go right here with the camera. So we got to shove back and uh, grab our empties and then pull them out. I just love that horn. I just blow the horn just for the heck of it. All right, we gotta back up over here a little bit. Let's, uh, let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm making a mess here. Let's, uh, I'm gonna give you a different view here. I'm gonna give you the, let me give you the backside view here. Ooh, look at that. You guys never see this. We gotta grab Carl over here to get our blue flag. Oh my goodness sake, Carl, come on. You're gonna get run over. How's that look? Ooh, nice. I'm always looking for new camera angles and things like that. Yeah, I never even uh, never even thought about putting the camera and looking. What, what, what the heck happened here? Hold on. Uh, what's going on here? I think maybe we got a kind of funky coupler here on uh... Oh yeah, we lost a spring there, that's what it is. We lost a spring on the uh, flat car. On the uh, coupler there, we're gonna have to get that fixed. Ooh, hold on there, hold on. All right, oh my goodness. Let's see if we can get these guys out of here. There we go. You know, I don't think I've ever uh, replaced a spring on a coupler. I mean, I know you've got those little itsy-bitsy springs, and, uh, you know, whenever you buy couplers, I use, uh, you know, Katie's. You get a couple of little extra springs there, so I've got like seven million of them. But I don't think I have ever had to replace one of those little springs. But uh, I guess we're going to be doing that today. All right. Here we go. Let's uh, let's swap this around a little bit so you got something to see. It's kind of a nice view, huh? You get to see a little bit more of the layout there, and you get to see me running the show here. All right, half a car to go, and right there is good. Like I said, we're not waiting over here today. This is uh, just like finishing up the ops that should have been finished the last time around. I almost feel like just dropping these two uh, pickups off right here, blocking the street. What the heck? 
you know, but uh, we'll do it the right way. About half a car to go here. And now we'll kind of keep it off the curve a little bit without hitting the camera. A little bit more, a little bit more. Come on, you can make it. All right, right there is good. All right, now we'll pull out and get these other cars dropped in there. Then we can head back to the yard and uh, start the actual video of work that I wanted to do. You know what I got? I need a new tripod because I kind of, looking at these new angles, I kind of feel like I want to have a little bit of a different angle sitting from the, uh, you know, at least a nice steady angle from, uh, you know, over here kind of thing. I try to do the best I can with uh, holding the camera by hand here, and uh, the camera does have a little stabilization built into it, but uh, it's not, uh, you know, it's not the best. It's not on a gimbal. Ooh, can you hear that wind? It's making my garage door shake. Look at that. It's rattling and rolling out there. I love it. You can break. Anyway, what was I talking about? Uh, I don't remember. Hmm. I talk too much here when I uh, <laughs> when I'm running my ops. All right, right there is good. Hold on, guys. We'll go give you the other shot here from this end. All right, Carl. Take it easy. We'll see you next time. My goodness, I don't know what is flying around outside. Thought it was a helicopter first. I don't know if you can hear it. Almost sounds like a radial engine. We do get a lot of, uh, you know, warbirds here in Southern California, you know, they all live out here. So, uh, what was it? The other day I saw a, uh, I think it was a B-25. Either a B-25. Yeah, yeah, it was B-25 I saw the other day. And then uh, a couple days before that, I couldn't tell what they were, but the three fighters, they might have been uh, trainers, you know, uh, radial engine, you know, World War II era. Planes. Again, I couldn't tell exactly what they were, but uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. You get to see, you know, who, how many, how many of you guys, uh, you know, was sitting in your backyard and you get a B-25 flyover is like, uh, you know, a, a normal happening. <laughs> you know, it's kind of neat because uh, we got all the uh, all the like, uh, you know, war museum guys, uh, war plane. Uh, are we connected over there? Oh my goodness, come on, let's get on our road here. All right, we're out of here. Anyway, we got all those, uh, you know, Confederate Air Force type deals out here, out in the Southwest, and so a lot of warbirds uh, and flying ones are based here in uh, Southern California, different uh, airports out near Chino, Corona, all over the place. Back when I used to fly, uh, when I was just working on getting my pilot's license, or just after I got my pilot's license, I was, uh, I'd fly out from San Diego, out to the desert, over to, uh, 
El Centro, Imperial Valley there by the Sultan Sea, and um, there's a guy out there that had a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Oh my goodness sakes, I can't believe I can't think, it. I can't think on my feet here. Run trains and think about uh, airplanes. I can't do it. Uh, you know, Baba -ba Black Sheep. What 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 is that? You know, with the the gold wings, kind of the bent wings. Anyway, he had one of those in a hangar, and so I would fly out there in uh, in the old Cessna 152, hop over the hills, and uh, and then go hang out in the hangar, check out his uh, World War II fighter plane. All right, yeah, turnout is good there. All right, we're gonna head home, and uh, and then I'm gonna see what the heck is binging on my phone, and then uh, we're gonna go uh, see what's happening in the yard because we gotta move stuff around and bring a car or bring our uh, bring our next set of cars in, and then we're gonna have to do some switching over here. Yeah, because we got to do, uh, we haven't been down here in a while. In uh, Shasta Beverage here, right? <laughs> Look, those cars have been sitting there forever. Oh my goodness. Okay, you can hear that. Let me see if you can see anything out there. Now it's getting all washed out, but uh, palm trees are blowing all around. And, uh, oh boy, fun. All right, we're going to pull into the yard here, and then uh, we'll figure out what the heck we're doing next. Ooh, there you go. I just adjusted the camera so you could uh, actually look outside. Look at them palm trees blowing around. Oh my goodness sakes. It's getting windy out here. All right, back to the show. All right, here we are. Pulling into the yard. Let's get uh, let's get these two cars dropped off. Get this locomotive out of the way. And um, hmm, I'm just thinking what we got to do here. Yeah, we got cars all over the place. Now, all these guys came in with uh, other locals, and so they kind of need to get uh, switched around here a little bit. Uh, I think what we're going to do, just to keep this easy, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do a little bit of uh, yard work here. Uh, let's see. Yep, yeah, we're going to actually grab all of these cars that we got in the yard. The guys have been enlisted to uh, to do some uh, yard classification here. Well, not really classification, but we're doing a little bit of yard work here. Let me uh, let me tone down the uh, the video here just a little bit. There we go. A little bright. Yeah, we're just gonna grab all of the uh, outstanding cars way down yonder and uh, put them all on one track just to get them out of the way. So let's see here, we're going to grab the box cars way down there, and right there is good. We get to, we get, to get a swig of coffee here. I was gonna I was gonna check the video that I'm watching there. I keep forgetting his name. It's uh Mark Clay McGowan, is that his name? I might be saying that wrong, but uh, you know who I'm talking about. That's what I was talking about before, goodness sakes, yeah. So he used to work for uh, UP, he retired, uh, yep, we're good there on the couplers. And uh I think he said he was a signals guy, so he worked on the signals. I might be wrong on that, but uh, yeah, I think that's what it was. He would work on the different signals. And uh, so anyway, so and he, he lives over in Bakersfield. And so he, uh, yeah, I guess he volunteers over there at the uh, Tehachapi uh, Train Depot Museum. And, uh, and then he does a lot of, because since he used to work on, uh, you know, the line there, he knows the ins and outs and uh, how to get to all the different back area spots. 
And so I got to change my uh, got to change my turnout way back there. We're pulling out into the main line. But uh, anyway, he knows how to get. Uh, if you go, uh, I guess rail fanning, you know, you might want to get in touch with him if you're over uh, over heading towards the Tehachapi, and he can uh, hook you up. I'm just taking a look to see where we got to go here. All right, right there is good. Whew, we just made it over there because I did not change the turnout way back there that goes down into Huntington Beach. And we don't want to run into it. Uh, yep, this is it. All right, so we're just going to drop all these guys off here. And, uh, and then we'll get rid of some of these uh, locomotives. They're all over the place here in the yard. And then we got to get the hauler out, which is sitting back here. That's that uh, the dash uh, dash eights, right? Is it dash eights or dash nines? Oh my goodness! See, I'm getting my <laughs> get my uh, trains and planes mixed up here. Oh my goodness! All right, let's see here. Uh, we got about one car to go, and we can connect up over there. There we go. Let's just make sure we got a good connection because when the hauler comes in, yes we do. We're gonna, he's gonna leave with all these cars. Uh, where'd my skewer go? Anyway, uh, yeah, Mark Clay McGewin. I think that's how you say his name. I, if I'm wrong and he watches my videos, I have no idea. Sorry about that. But they know who I'm talking about anyway. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So he knows all the back routes there. He gets to go into all of the uh, all the back areas of uh, the Tehachapi Loop over on like the service roads and all that. That's what I was saying. I wonder if they ever he ever gets in trouble because I don't know. It's like technically is the service road not railroad property or I don't know how that works. Like, I don't know if I drive over there with my Audi, like, I might get in trouble, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, let's drop these guys off here. Hey, we got that done. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to do with this locomotive. Actually, ooh, let's, uh, let's pause here for a second and contemplate what's happening here. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like... <laughs> It's also garbage day again, Thursday, and uh, so people's garbage cans got picked up and it's like 35 knot winds out there. And so, <laughs> I think all the garbage cans are rolling around. All right, we're gonna get rid of this locomotive here. We're gonna park them right over here. I was gonna set them out on the, uh, the track all the way down there by, uh, by the backdrop, but uh, we got to get our uh, we got to get our our hauler out, and uh, so I don't want to block that track. So here's what we're gonna do: we'll park, uh, we'll make uh, the. I guess this will be. Well, let me see. I you know I got a number of these tracks somehow. I know they always go from the main line, but uh, well, I got kind of a goofy main line here. There's no main line that runs right through there. The main line is over here by the. Uh, by the fascia. All right, we'll call it track one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're on track six. That's it, done. We have officially named the tracks. Well, let me see if you can see this. So here's the main line. So I'm just gonna go track one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Shut down over there. Now, uh, we get the, we get these uh, GP7Us over here. We gotta fire them up. Let's get them going. Ooh, they sound nice. Put them on the 
the same track there with the uh, the SD40. Hey, speaking of, uh, when I was out at uh, Tehachapi, I got this sticker from the uh, museum there. And so I was maybe going to put stickers on my fascia or something. I don't know. Do something like that. Or maybe on the backside. I don't know. Maybe I'll stick them someplace. Not on the fascia, but sort of uh, behind one of the back backdrops. I'll put my stickers. A little bit more here. I know this is kind of a funky video, but uh, hey, it's Thursday. What do you want? You want an official video on, uh, in the middle of the week? Come on, turn around. Uh-oh, oh, oh, I fat-fingered my, uh, my controller here. There we go. It's the only thing I don't like about these uh, ESU controllers is the touchscreen's nice, but sometimes you, uh, you, oops, you touch something, and then I'm like, why are my buttons not working? Well, that's because it's, uh, I touched it and it's in some other menu or something. It works nice, but I don't know what I'm going to do uh, once this thing breaks, you know. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about that today. I was watching uh, Burr Stewart, uh, and he was running. He had some people over there. Uh, it was one of his, uh, I don't know, a week, two weeks ago or something, he had a video. And uh, he was showing a guy running with, like, the Proto Throttle. And so I was thinking, that would be really neat to have that. I don't know. And then, well, anyway, the point is, I, I was thinking, well, what am I going to do when I break this thing? Because it's not when, you know, if, but uh, when. You know, everything falls apart and breaks. That's just the way it goes. What is that? Is that the law of anth entropy there? All right. Right there. Let's go ahead and shut down. Lights off. Oops, wrong one. Shut down. There we go. And when, so once those guys are getting shut down, I am going to go ahead and try to get our hauler fired up over here. Oh boy, here we go again with numbering, uh, numbering tracks. I keep forgetting which one is number one and which one is number two back there. I should have like put the switches one above each other. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I got number track number two down or on and let me hop over to our uh, our hauler is that him yes it is there he is no nope, it's not that one it's not that one either so oh hold on <laughs> i'm trying to blow the horn on the uh on the up unit back there and uh like a dumb dumb i uh had the locomotive uh, silenced here so let's try that again um there we go. It's track two. Go figure. All right. Let's fire that up and get our track. Track switch is done over here. Uh, so basically, let me think here. Yeah, what we're going to do is run all the way out and around. Get our little lights on. And... out of staging and we're going to run them into the yard here. Now the BNSF unit, if you don't know, uh, that's just a dummy unit. Um, it's, uh, it's an older Athern that, uh, you know, eh, it's kind of weird. doesn't run very well and whatnot so I took the worm drives out of him and uh, I can turn his headlight on. Let me see. What what is these uh six seventeen? I do have him on my he does have a, a decoder. And see, so I can go boop and turn his little headlight on there. I don't know if you saw that, but it's on. But he's not consisted together or anything like that with the uh, the UP unit. He's just a dummy unit there that uh, is basically a, a has a headlight. Oh, 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 are we good here on the... Yeah. Oh, oh, come on. Engineer Rick. Seriously, what did I do? Well, 
Oh yeah, I shorted this out. There we go. There we go. All right. Ay, ay, ay. All right. We're gonna keep on moving here while she fires up. Uh, don't worry about that. I had one turnout out of place right there. Uh, all right, yeah, because we're gonna run all the way around through the layout. Uh, we gotta jump in the layout because I gotta get that uh, turnout uh, turned over. Uh, that goes down the Stanton Industrial Lead. So uh, we're gonna grab all our cars out of our uh, make-believe staging here. And we'll talk about that in a second once we get that, to that. But um, I am planning on, uh, you know, redoing my staging. I've talked about that before. If uh, you know, if you're not new. Uh, I just got to get around to it, and uh, staging is going to be back behind this backboard right here. We're going to have a hole right back there by that tree, and uh, have a little turnout goes back there and grabs uh, cars that are sitting on uh, some staging tracks back there. But since we don't have that yet, what I am doing is uh, just kind of staging cars right there, which is just on the other side of the backboard. From where staging would be. Alright, we're running around over there and uh, yeah, looking good. here because uh, my camera battery is about to die again eh, my goodness anyway so staging will normally be back behind this backboard over here um, and so uh, I just kind of put these cars down here just for the moment uh, let me think oh, yeah yeah engineer Rick really Come on, back it up over there The other way. There we go. I forgot to turn that turn out. And yeah, I think the next thing I'm doing is ballasting over here because there is a little nail right there. There we go. staging right here. Ay, 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 really? Come on. Hold on. Alright, we're not putzing around too much here today. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down so you get a, at least to get a view of this guy. You know, since I started uh, kind of having cars over in the uh, the new section over in Orange, California, uh, which we're coming out of here, uh, I realized I got to get some more cars because uh, you know there's that sort of uh, I got enough cars that are you know sitting in the industries and enough cars kind of coming into the yard here and uh, you know kind of moving throughout the layout. But now, over here in Orange, now that we've got uh, some cars over here, and we're kind of running operations here while we're uh, while we're still working on it, um, I've realized, yeah, I need some more cars. So I got to get a couple more tank cars, uh, a couple more box cars, uh, definitely more hoppers. I'm definitely in, in need of hoppers here because we're going to be doing hoppers over here. 
All right, let's, uh, let's come around here. This will be the last uh, little operations I wanted to do for uh, Thursday here. And uh, actually, this was all sort of, I was going to do all this without filming it. And just uh, sort of, uh, this is in preparation for tomorrow's video. But I figured, what the heck? Uh, yeah, yeah, might as well just film it. You could see how I get ready for uh, for operations here. Well, actually, I was going to be doing this thing. This is what I wanted to do because uh, I really wanted to kind of uh, do some yard uh, classification or something like that. Get some new cars out onto the layout. And then I realized, oh, yeah, I still got to finish doing our little uh, lumber cars over here. I figure what the heck. We'll kill two birds or uh, two trains in one go. We'll finish that up over there by the Yump Lumber Yard and we'll get, our, uh, we'll get our cars in. Where am I going here? This way, that way. Yep. Okay, that's it. Hopefully they all fit. I don't know. We'll see. And I don't want the video to be too long because I was actually thinking, you know, I'll just run this guy around the uh, main line. But, uh,. Well, my camera is dying, the battery, and I don't feel like switching it. And uh, the new guy has fallen over. Oh my goodness, hold on. Look at this guy. He fell over in front of the, uh, well, in front of the Portage on. Here. I call him the new guy because uh, as we pull through here, let's take a look. We have got the crew right here. And in the red hat, hat there, we got the engineer Rick. In the blue hat there in the center, we got uh, Mr. Torres. And in the purple hat over on the right, we got uh, Mr. Stanford. And we get the uh, little Benjamin sitting there on the hood right there. And then we got this other guy with the red hat. And so, uh, well, he's a new guy. He doesn't have a name. <laughs> Maybe one day uh, we'll figure out what his name is, but uh, for right now, he's just a new guy. All right, well anyway guys, I'm gonna pull these guys through here, make sure my turnouts are all good. We'll get these guys into the yard, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go watch some more train videos. Well, actually I gotta go upload this video first, and then I'm gonna go watch some more train videos and uh, watch the wind blow outside. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, little operations, little behind the scenes here. Getting ready for operations, operations sort of video. All right, right there, a little bit more, about half a car, just to clear the track back there. Ooh, there we go, and perfect. We just uh, shorted out, shorted out the, uh, the layout just in time. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> and you're like, wait a minute, the engine, the thing's still running. I got a current keeper, so that's why he's still running. He'll die in a second. <laughs> but track power is off. All right, guys. <laughs> a little bit of a chaotic uh, little operations here. But hey, happy Thursday. I will see you in the operations video tomorrow. So that uh, back to back here. We're doing more videos. And uh, hope you guys have a good Thursday. Hope you're having a good week. All that good stuff. Don't forget to hit the uh, thumbs up button. All that stuff helps the channel. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Until next time, guys, take care. Hey, Benjamin, what'd you think of that video, huh? Was that pretty good? No? Hey. No? I thought I did a pretty good job. Well, why are you giving me that look? Oh, come on. Uh, all right.